the unnecessary part is basically for, you know, you like, what rule did your job implement? For employees? For employees, that was mm. like very unnecessary or like over the tops. But I mean, I guess it's good. You know, it was them asking us to come back into work during a global pandemic when we're not essential workers for a party store. Personally, I never felt like an essential worker. Like, I never felt like, wow, I'm serving the people right now. I feel like a superhero. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember when they had those superhero signs outside? This is where heroes are. Like, I never felt like, oh, that's me. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like, this is my job. It didn't close down. I got to keep on going to work to do the things I got to do. I'm going to go to work. <clears throat> but some people did come into the store sometimes. They'll be like, thank you. We appreciate you for working. And I'll say, I'll say you're welcome. And I'll walk away and be like, I don't know. Why are you thanking me? Like, <laughs> I'm doing what I would have been doing regardless. Like, this is just my regular job. For a well-functioning economy, everybody's an essential job. Um, if you're not essential, then what is the point, I suppose? What? That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. Thank you for those who said thank um, you're a hero. I appreciate it, you know. Um, so it wasn't a thankless job, but sometimes it felt like that because, you know, majority of people make you feel that way. But, you know, it's sometimes it's worth it for the few who appreciate you, I guess. Mm -hmm. Always think about the positive, never the negative. Like no one came up to you and said, thank you, you're a hero. I got attitude. Oh. I was the disgusting one because I had to get up with y'all choosing to come out and separate it more. Some refuse to wear masks or they, they wear masks. But they... had it underneath their nose or their chin, mm -hmm. I didn't get the purpose. I'm like, you just defeated the whole, you know what, fuck my life then, fuck my life. And, that, and that's basically how we were treated. We don't care. Come in, sneak snow. Right here. Fuck my life. Okay. <laughs> At my job, they did the raise. They did a two dollar raise, so that felt good. I was like, okay, we get two more dollars. But at first, they was like, we only gonna do this for a couple months. So then I was like, damn. But then they kept it, so that was a good thing. So it felt good at first, and then they gave us some bonuses too, which felt good. And so people started telling me like, you know, we just getting this bonus because they they about to cut our hours. So it's about to like kind of even out, like you about to get the same amount of money. So it's kind of like, this is a good thing, it's not a good thing. No, hell no, <laughs> no! So the party store that I work at is like a family owned store. I think that shh, they succeeded in taking care of us when it came to like getting everyone's paperwork done for being on unemployment. Then again, that's like the bare minimum. When we're out of a job, like it's your job as the, our employer to make sure we have all of our paperwork and documents and to, they were telling us how to file for unemployment on like the government website and everything. Um, like I appreciated them for doing that, but at the same time, it's that's their job to do, especially when we're not getting paid. I didn't stock up. Um, someone in my household stocked up. Um, I was actually getting pissed off at my mom because she <laughs> literally had a corner. You see how high that table is right there? Mm -hmm. It was all just toilet paper. I'm like, mom, you're part of the problem. There were people, there were scalpers scalping the prices of toilet paper because they knew it was an in-demand item. Nobody was like, nobody could get a hold of toilet paper because people would buy them in bulk and then raise the price for shit tickets. I surely the fuck did not, because I wiped my ass on a normal basis. <laughs> I, I didn't stock up, so at one point I was running low, so I had to, you know, look high and low for toilet paper, and then I finally found like a, um, like a two-pack, and that lasted me for a little while. I mean, by and large, I mean, I didn't see any like fights or anybody get heated about anything. To be honest, I'm gonna say 50-50. <laughs> there is no, is no courtesy of none, no sort. Probably seem more selfish people, to be honest. Because at first, they was, you know what I'm saying? They come in and like, back to the toilet paper thing, they want to buy a lot. 
10 packs of toilet paper. Yo, because we have two people now, so we need 10 packs of toilet paper. We had a limit, and people said, fuck your limit. You know what I'm saying? People all about self. Uh, I'll say appreciate things, appreciate things. I'll say appreciate things, appreciate things. Cause you never know what can happen. Yeah. So appreciate your time, cause a deadly disease might take your oh ass out. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It taught me how. Uh, how should I? How do I put this into words? Um. How little people care until it's too late. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. How it took a fucking global pandemic. A fuck ton of people dying, a global pandemic that's fucking up the whole world to appreciate like the little people basically. You know, be prepared and be not selfish and you know, that. We are now closed.